Sorry. I'm looking for um, the mayor. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is actually a series of missions that I totally missed while playing through the first time. And the reason I missed it is I don't think I did something correct, but in the end, after you do the Gilded Cage mission, you get a letter from the mayor of Saint-Denis, and he's looking for Mr. Morgan to, well, take care of some problems. And there's three total missions. The first two begin with letters, and then the final mission, you just have to show up at the mayor's house at night. So let's get on with idealism and pragmatism for beginners. The first part of the mission begins when you are informed that you have an unopened letter at the post office. You can pick it up at any of the post offices. I chose the Rhodes Post Office and it turns out it's a letter from the mayor of Saint-Denis. And sir? Thanks, Mister. Now, if you read the letter, it requests Arthur show up at the mayor's house at night because he needs Arthur's help. So, if you go back to Saint Denis and show up at the mayor's house at night, you will find out what the mayor needs for help. Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh, sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes, please. Uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgo. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? <laughs> yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance.
Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As you drive the Mayor's assistant to the art gallery, he sort of explains to you what needs to be done. And, well, Arthur kind of understands. So I'm going to fast forward through things because you'll hear the conversation if you do the mission. There, Mr. Arthur, there! No. What's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Buenos dias, senor. very well what I found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I couldn't! My reputation! <coughs> How about your reputation now? I, I'd never be published again! <laughs> I relent! I relent! Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So you're helping people, really. I, I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir. You're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs. Uh, because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course we don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Now all Arthur has to do is return to Jean-Marc, and the final cutscene will happen, and eventually you will be able to move on to Mission 2. So, it turns out, all those paintings were real after oh. all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftecker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's open. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. And that is it for part one. You will receive another indication that a letter is unopened at the post office to start part two. And I'm going to get into that right now. I picked this letter up at the Strawberry Post Office. And again, the mayor is requesting Arthur's uh, assistance on something. And it's about a gallery, which, yeah, you can go on to part two. Oh, 
Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty-minded pragmatist like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. Now Arthur just has to ride to the Saint Denis exit by the bayou and meet up with the stagecoach to, well, do what he needs to do. Do you want Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for a wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige, sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? <laughs> The mayor is a crook. Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. better to give than to receive and certainly in the case of a beating i know that's true now the mayor awaits your check sir been a pleasure there's a good man in there let him live a little more driver hold up <clears throat> uh, 
As you were. Come on! After being successful at this part, all Arthur has to do is show up at the mayor's house after dark, and part three can begin. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no. No. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh. <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. You can probably sell this book at the uh, fence for a little money. But it's just basically a field guide on how to track animals, farming, blah, blah, blah. Turns out Jean-Marc's house is not too far from the mayor's house. And it's a very quick ride for Arthur to get to the house. And, well, you're going to kidnap Jean-Marc. Why you want to go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <coughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is going to hurt, but it's for the best. <coughs> I actually screwed this up a couple times, so now I'm going to show you how to actually do this correctly. What you do is you head straight down the street toward this garden entrance right here. And you basically walk behind the houses in order to bring Jean-Marc to the mayor's office. You go through this garden here and you go out the back of the garden and walk behind the houses. There's enough room for you to do that and you totally avoid the cops. Got a little lost in the garden there. Like I said, you walk out of the back of the garden and right down the back end of the uh, houses here, you can avoid the police, 
and get back to the mayor's house. Quick, Miss Rather, bring him around the back. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, uh, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord, our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, oh, Jean-Marc. We... Here. <gasps> my brother, my brother. Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? Mm -hmm. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth you out of me, it. buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux's a foul rat. But I'm a man of my word. L let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Come on. Please. Please, come on. Do you want to... I chose to kill Jean-Marc. If you let him live, the outcome is going to be different. In this case, because I chose to kill him, I lost a little honor, and, well, eventually I'm going to get a letter from the mayor thanking me for my service, and ultimately it leads to, how shall I say it? Yeah, well, I missed by a mark here. Yeah, you gotta dump him into the swamp. And once you dump him into the swamp, well, then you can move on in life. And like I said, you get a letter from the mayor later on, which basically, I'll explain, yeah, don't walk into the swamp like I did. Mission complete. I'm gonna show you the letter the mayor sends, and then, continue on from there. The letter you get from the mayor thanks you for your service and basically you will get 10% discount on goods and items uh, in any shop in Saint-Denis. If you don't kill Jean-Marc, you don't get the discount and he becomes the mayor and just sort of overlooks your criminal background. He doesn't turn you in or do something wrong. But again, this is the letter from the mayor. Whether you spare Jean-Marc or not, it's up to you. I chose to kill him.
and get 10% off on everything in shops in St. Denis. If you like this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, I post four videos a week involving video games as well as some shorts and specials. You don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you will stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.